Wassail, beautiful people. Hello, welcome to the channel. Especially welcome if you're new. Please do subscribe, press thumbs up. I only read using the two decks I created. Um, this one is the Lifruma Healing Oracle deck. It's a 78 card rune deck based on their presence in the Anglo-Saxon language. And they each contain a poem to help you to discover and think about things in your life that you can transform and change. And that's very often what the readings are also about. So you can purchase your own copy of that at lefruma.com. And I also use the Musical Alchemy of Astrology deck. That's the latest deck we've been making. And this one's not quite yet ready to purchase. This is its last incarnation before we do offer it for sale. So also, if you're enjoying my videos, press thumbs up. But also think about engaging in an energetic exchange with me by sending me a donation at PayPal me at rustling around. So we're going to dive in to the reading. Oh, really interesting. I feel like we're going to start with the ceramic, the 78 ceramic rhinestones. They're the beautiful Daniela made for me. Marcel, Daniela. That's interesting. Mm, we've never started with with the stone story. Ula, owl, reaching out your senses. Gifu. You see, that's interesting. This is 68, and Gifu in the Elder Thuthark and in the rune deck is seven. I feel like you're reaching inside for a gift, an incarnation gift that you've always had within you that you're not fully aware of. Six, seven, eight, but it's six, eight, seven. Like it's something that's been overlooked. And then we have Hagal, nine. <laughs> so there's a series of steps. Six, seven, eight, nine, but they're in the wrong order. But the true ordering is within. Hagal is hailstones that we melt. There's something, I want to say there's a single hailstone hidden deep within your heart. Like the story of the Snow Queen, a slither of glass. And yet this Hailstone is waiting to be melted and to flow throughout your body. Interesting. And then we have Wackened, 64. This feels a bit like the slither in the heart. This is the natural world around you. This is six and four. You see, and so now I would say there's an absence of the five of the change because you haven't begun changing this particular gift melting the salt rhyme the salt rhyme is in the ganunga gap it's almost like there's a thread of this it's in you it is a little icicle waiting to melt and flow throughout your body that's what this is that's the icicle melting and moving it's not coming across as Weckoned the natural world staring at you. This is something internal that's about to start coursing through your veins. And then we have five, six. So interesting, six, four, five, six. Interesting. There it's so. This is six, four, and this is five, six. So it's giving us six, four, five, six. So the sixes are on the outside, external energy in the Tesla code. But inside you've got four and five, and that makes a nine. That's the divine. So this, this is some kind of divine 
icicle waiting to get going and flow around your body. Lovely. So I am on to hold them that way up. I want to hold them this way up. So let's get the Lipruma Healing Oracle Rune Deck and see what it wants to add as the bigger energies in this. Earth Grab. Earth Grab is... So I feel like you've... There's something you've done three times. And each time it hasn't quite happened. It's you see, I'm being drawn to this card now saying I see grief, leaf. <laughs> and that's about unfurling. And we have esk, esk, ash, trickster, Loki, personal Idrisil. Mm-hmm. Give me a moment. Just looking at numbering. Hmm. So something is being returned to you. It's something that's always been within you because Earth Grip is about the cells. But there's something <clears throat> here about this particular cellular gift has been hidden behind a kind of frozen, unmoving emotion, a frozen emotion. And it's about to melt. And as I said, stop coursing through your body I'm seeing this energy of being hugged being embraced by this it is some kind of emotional blueprint that you haven't been sensing and it's coming alive it's beginning to move Listening but not hearing. Listening internally but not hearing. Old one in the ironwood grave. You see the ironwood, that sense of something strong and hard this idea of doing, having tried something three times. And then appearing. Like a, a known, knowing something that's coming through to you that has purpose. It's assembling and unfolding. It's swelling and it's trembling. And it's essential to the wholeness of the Idrisil tree, but you're having to begin by correcting this within your own personal Idrisil tree. So let's go to the Musical Alchemy of Astrology deck and see what additional clues might be hidden. Uh, some cards have come out, but they are face down. Interesting. Sagittarius, bard hero of the heart. That's this nine energy. It's in your heart. Quantum souls. I feel like this is a connection with another. Ah, look, I'm not someone that says that very lightly because I get a little bit stressed out about all the kind of hocus-pocus love readings that people give. But this is a quantum 
entanglement. You're in the orchestral repair shop. Something is being fixed. This slither is being melted. This icy grief is being transformed in both you and in another. And somehow this is going to draw you together. Now, it doesn't have to be romantically. But it will be something where a very simple passing comment from another is almost like an activation code, whether it be the sound of their voice, the particular form of the words that they use. There's something that will come along that will feel like pure accidental chance but it's to show you a greater quantum connection. And there's a magpie. They always hold very profound confirmation and messages for me. So this person will come along to soften the blockage. And that's how it begins to melt. And then you have trying. Trine is the aspect, you see, and that's six, six zero, nine six zero. These are external things coming towards you. This is the melodious comfort of a Viennese waltz. This is stepping and whirling in splendor. It's like this person, I don't even know whether the arrival of this person is someone that you take with you in your life, but it's it's like two souls quantumly entangled with the same frozen piece. In some higher dimension, you are part of a hive mind. That seems to be this new energy that's going on at the moment, moving as one harmonious body. So... Something they say to you and you reply to them will begin this energy of melting. So it's a huge cleansing. It's almost rewiring so many emotions within the body. So... It has something to do with the rewiring of compassion within you. And it's giving you a much more vast emotional intelligence. And it's divinely unconscious. I see that divinely unconscious. Sometimes when I read that, I often wonder quite what that means. It's bringing you an inherent symphonic sophistication and it's about knowing your truth rather than having to feel into it because you couldn't feel into it because previously it was some kind of icy grief and I don't mean that that necessarily has to be thinking about loss so interesting that car not starting then had a really fascinating energy for me while i was talking to you i was willing for that as if that's a similar thing you kept trying to start this compassionate emotion and it just hasn't been able to spark and now it sparks this unconscious moment Sagittarius is G, it's mutable fire, it's changing the way you feel, the way you desire, the way you have passion. It is bravery inspired through love, but that doesn't seem the important parts. It's this line, unblocking thermal rivers. Where fire meets ice, you are the fire, you are the warmth. And somehow this quantum entangled unconscious moment in time 
is what will begin this emotional transformation to unfurl through your whole body. So let's just look at G. Mm, or Jupiter. So Jupiter is the energy wings. Jupiter's frequency enters our body differently to most of the others. Many of the ones that we call the seven chakras, although I use eight, they pass through the back, come out and return. But when they do that, they're also going through the spine and the nervous system, which is C sharp, D flat, with an A sharp, B flat for the nervous system. Whereas Jupiter comes in through the spine and the nervous system, but then it descends down the body and it rotates right down to the floor and inside the floor and above. It's like, imagine having energetic, angelic, spinning, oval wings and all of the other energies that come through our body pass through the cleansing of the Jupiter G. So while I'm thinking about this, picture yourself as having a vast pair of energy wings. See them how you need to see them. Unfurl them in your way. It's entirely up to you, but understand that they're here to cleanse everything. Jupiter's G. I feel like I want a couple more ceramics just there to end. We don't have enough time. I'm trying to keep them short. I'm giving myself a minute. <laughs> eh. Horse movement. Seven four. Oh, that's so interesting. Earlier when I stared at the I was caught on this 47 and I couldn't find it anywhere. It's 7-4. It's time for the harvest. This is a mirror opening space to unfurl and release that icy grief slither, superseding winter's icy grief, a fresh unfurling spring tender green leaf. And it's got movement now. It has been stuck, but this is movement. There's a cosmic movement that's triggering this. I'm so glad I pulled that because it was bugging me that they were showing me 4-7. 
and I couldn't see a match in any of the other cards. So, beautiful message. Let that icy grief melt and unfurl. Don't go looking for this person. I, I, there's something divinely unconscious about it, but I'm not even sure you'll know that this person has fed you the information. That's also very possible. It's a really interesting energy of someone sparking something in you and it melting and unfolding and unfurling in its own patterned pathway. It's gorgeous. So anyway, what's beautiful people?